Today's video is going to cover a topic I kind of glossed right over in my original two videos on password managers, and I have received countless questions through comments and feedback through my website. So I wanted to take this video today and talk a bit about multiple vaults and how you can manage your vaults along with having multiple accounts. So there are two components to this. The first is vaults. So a vault is where you store all of your passwords. However, you can actually create multiple vaults. So what are some reasons that you might want to do this? The first is you can share vaults. So you may not want to share all of your passwords. So my main personal account, I've got, I think, three to 400 passwords under my personal vault. However, between my wife and I, we have certain accounts that we want to share. Instead of having to share each password individually with her, I can actually create a vault, share that vault with my wife, and then anything I put in there or she puts in there, we both have access to. And as we update things, they'll update within that vault. The other thing you can do is if you have like multiple work accounts, or let's say you manage, you know, some reason you go to multiple businesses or as an IT person, you work in multiple sites, you could create a vault for each one of those sites, or you could just have your personal and your work passwords. And then when you're, you either leave the job, retire, whatever happens, you can either export those passwords, hand them over to the next person, or you can just go and delete the vault and all those passwords are gone. In this video, I'm going to focus on one password, but in regards to the other password managers, it works pretty much the same. You just might have to figure out where the specific controls are. And again, if you come up against something you just can't seem to figure out, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out um, in regards to the specific password manager that you are using. But this is a very common feature. You can use vaults and multiple accounts and I know 1Password, LastPass, I'm pretty sure Bitwarden does it and I believe Dashlane also does it. So it's a set of pretty common features that you can do within the password manager. So you have your vaults and what I just kind of briefly mentioned and why you might want to use, you know, multiple vaults. However, you can also have multiple accounts. So for example, for me as the IT director at our school district, I don't want the school IT accounts tied into my personal one because down the road I'm going to retire. It's going to be quite a while, but again, as a good IT person, you've got to plan ahead. Or if, you know, something you never want to think about, if something were to happen to me, then nobody would have access to those accounts. So I actually created a 1Password account for the school district tied to my school email account. And then I have my personal one. And within 1Password, I can log into both accounts and all my passwords are there. You don't have to jump between them. It just scans all your vaults. Doesn't matter how many accounts you have logged in. And you can log into multiple accounts. That's the really handy feature about this. And I know LastPass can also do it. I'm not 100% sure about the other password managers in regards to multiple accounts being logged into. But please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below just mentioning, yeah, you know, I use Bitwarden and Bitwarden also does this. Again, I'm not 100% sure on those things, but I know it is a pretty common feature. So I'm assuming that those password managers also do this. For most people, you probably won't get into the multiple accounts. In my situation, I actually have a document kept at school that has the password written down that stays under lock and key. And administration can get to that to give it to the new person or whoever's just filling in if they really need to get access to those passwords. And the really nice thing about it is they log into that. They're not going to see all my personal ones because that's in a separate account. They're only going to see the passwords that are attached to my work account. All right, so let's jump over to my computer. I now have one password opened on my computer. When you get into your main screen, just like I talked about in my previous video, which if you haven't watched, Go look for my previous video on password managers and specifics to one password. And I'll talk through that video on all these different sections and what you can do with them and how they work. So when you get in, you're going to see all your kind of different categories. But at the top here, you're going to see a section called all vaults. And if I click on that, it's going to actually show a list of all my vaults. So within my personal account, which is right here on the top left, I've got my private, which is just for me. I've got ones for my spouse and myself, and then I've got a family share because I actually do a family plan. So I have accounts for different family members and anything I put into that vault, 
is shared out with the rest of the family automatically. Just like if I put anything in the Adam and Deb one, it automatically shares out with my wife. And then what you're going to see below is I have my work account listed in here also, which I'm going to discuss a little bit later in this video, but it also shows all my vaults for that also. There are a few different ways that you can manage your vaults. Let's say right now when you first create your account, you're going to just start with that private one. But let's say you wanted to create a work one or another family one. You'll see this little new vault option. If I tap on it, I can put in the vault name. I'm going to just call it test vault. You can put in a description if you want. You can even tweak the image if you would like. I'm going to hit create new vault. And you'll see instantly that my new vault is there. So now that you've created the vault, what do you do with it and how do you use it? So for example, I'm going to click on this Adam on Tech cPanel one. Most of the stuff I'm going to blur out the info so you don't see sensitive account information. But what you're going to notice is right here at the top, it gives you some different information. The first thing you see right here on the left is it shows what account it's tied to. So it shows that it's attached to my family account. The part on the right shows you what vault it is in. So if you want to change that, you're going to click on the edit button. And then right below the title of it, you're going to see a little drop down select menu. If you click on that, you can choose where you want to move it. So I'm going to choose test vault. I'm going to hit save. Now you'll see that I've got test vault selected and Adam on tech cPanel shows up within test vault. If I edit that again, put it back to my private and hit save it's going to move it back to my private vault. That is all you need to do to move a login or an account, a piece of account information to a different vault. That's all there is to it. The next thing you can do is if you click on the three little dots from it, you can do manage access. So from here, you can actually share this vault out with anybody in your family. So all I have to do is go through and tick those boxes and it will share it with that specific family member. Now, this is the one thing I discovered with 1Password is you can't share it with somebody outside of your family. You can send and share specific accounts with other people, but you cannot share a specific vault. That's the one thing I'm not a huge fan of, and I don't know how the other password managers work in that regards. It's probably, and I'm guessing it's some sort of security feature. So somebody can't get in, share the vault out, and then they can duplicate everything and get you into all sorts of trouble. I'm sure there's some good security reasons there for that, but that is the one thing to know is that you can't share it with somebody outside your family, which is one reason I did create that secondary account so I could share all the passwords with that work account and they're kept separate. So that's how you create a vault and share it. The next thing, if I hover over it and click on the three dots again, I can edit the vault. You can change the name, the description, and the image. If I click on the three dots again, the other thing I can do is click Delete Vault. Now, the one thing I just want to make sure is that I'm selected on that. Just do not want to make sure I delete my personal one. I'm going to hit Delete Vault. What it's going to ask you to do is type in the name of the vault as just a security feature, just to make sure you know that you're verifying, yes, I want to delete Test Vault. And I'm going to hit Delete. And you'll see now that that vault is gone. The other ways you can manage this is if I go into my browser. So when I log into my 1Password web account, you're going to see a list of all your vaults. So for example, I've got my private, my Adam and Deb, and my family share. Let's say, for example, I wanted to make a change to my Adam and Deb one. I've got the little cogwheel down here. I'm going to click on that. And then over here on the left side, towards the bottom, you'll see more actions. If I click on that, one of the options is delete vault, and that will delete the vault. And if I go back to all my vaults, and here you can create a new vault and do all those other things that you normally like to do. And it also tells you how many items are shared within that, which I think is a really nice feature. So you can make sure if you delete a vault, you want to make sure all your stuff's out of it. It just gives you a quick overview of how many passwords are within that vault. So that's how the vaults work. It's very, very straightforward, but it's a really handy feature to make some organization and you can really get hyper organized with it. I know some people, instead of using um, like tags and categories, because for example, you could put tags and you can actually tag it with like work or anything like that. So I could say work for this one. 
and then when I let me close out of my vaults here, and then I've got tags right here. Oh, let me save that. There we go. Let me go back to tags. And there's my work tag. So you could use tags to kind of create categories, as you would say. Some people instead like to create vaults for each category. So I have a work. So under my vaults, I have a work one. I have maybe an entertainment. I have financial. You could create separate vaults for each thing. Up to you. And that's what I like about this. I know, again, one pass or sorry, not one password, but last pass works exactly the same. And I know all the other major ones do the same thing. You can create multiple vaults. So you, and you can tag things. So it's just on how your brain works in the best way that you want to organize your own password manager. I just, I don't even use tags. I just keep everything under one big list and I just search for it when I need it. Cause that's the only way I'm going to use it is when I go to the site, I'm just going to pull it up for it to auto fill in. I don't need to break things down by categories and all that stuff. The biggest thing for me is to have work and personal stuff separate, which I do. So that's kind of the brief overview of vaults. Now, having multiple accounts. So what I've done is I've created my original account, which is my personal one under my personal email account, which is a managed family plan. I went in and also created a separate individual 1Password account for our school district using my school email address. Right now, those when you create them, they work as separate vaults for less craziness because when you're in a when you're in your browser you just want it to pull up whatever password it is from anywhere you want and that's what you can do by linking your accounts so when you're in the program on your computer if you go into your preferences or your settings i'm not sure under windows if they call it settings or preferences but you just want to go into your one password settings or you can also do it in LastPass, and you're going to look for an account section and in here, you're going to see I have two separate accounts here. And down at the bottom, there's a little plus and minus key. This is where you can add multiple accounts. So if I click on the plus key, I can put in all the information that I want for the other vault. And if it already knows it's there, it will just kind of mention it. If I close that out, uh, in one password, when you create your account, it does give you a QR code. It creates this document for you that has a QR code. And it has a secret key and has all your kind of information. So if you need to restore your account or transfer it, it's all right there. So you can enter in the QR, you can scan the QR code, or you can enter your account details individually. You can, so you can put the email address for your, or the sign in address for your account, the email address, the secret key, and then your master password, and it will link it up. And once you do that, it'll be set up in your browser and all those different things. Let me open up my Firefox browser. And I know this works pretty much the same with Chrome, Safari, all your other browsers. If you click on the extension and you click on your all accounts and you go to your settings, because sometimes you don't necessarily need to install the full 1Password program on your computer. A lot of people just install the extension and use it within their browser. But if you go down and look through the list, you've got a chance here to specify what vaults are included. So let's say it's at your work office. You don't want your personal ones there. You can actually have those be hidden from your work computer. And then you can also click at the bottom, sign into another account so you can add other accounts to it. I hope you found this video helpful in showing you how to set up multiple vaults and manage those multiple vaults. And also if you want to get into having multiple accounts logged in and how that process works. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And while you're down there, take a second and hit that subscribe button along with that little bell notification so you can be notified when all my new videos get posted. Otherwise, this is Adam on Tech, signing off.